Good morning. Welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Wednesday, the 26th of April. So looking at the euro dollar first and well, yesterday pushed into new near term highs, uh, pushing, breaking the prior highs that was sitting there. Uh, we're now, uh, well, we're looking at this four hourly chart. We're sort of just moving into some slight divergence running through with us at the moment. It looks good solid uh, afternoon session yesterday. And then consolidation through the Asian session as to be expected. Question is, of course, where now? At the moment, it's looking uh, like it's going to run back towards its uh, daily pivot here. Uh, cable a little bit more advanced in its, its move through, but they're, they're both uh, the, the European pairs are looking like they may be pulling back towards this sort of zone. Post eight o'clock, as this is still happening, I'll, I'll jump on board for a little bit of this action back towards the pivot. Um, after that, I'll watch the price action. As, as I said, there's a bit of divergence on the four hourly. We did have the extreme uh, on the uh, 60 minute there. That's worked off now. Um, it, it could, we could see a bit more of a rollover, maybe, um, having seen uh, the last couple of days, or say the last couple of days, it's uh, running through from Sunday evening, push on. So just see how exhausted this market is. Now, there is a lot of shorts that have been building up on the market. That, that leaves us to the possibility where we may get a bounce off the uh, daily pivot. And if it does, does get down to there, I'll watch that carefully in terms of assessing whether to uh, um, look, for, look for that bounce and trade a bounce. Uh, but as I say, there is a divergence on two of the upper time frames here now. Okay, um, just looking through at the pound then. So uh, the pound dollar is uh, running from the top right, top time down. Uh, yet again, we've got another day within the in a, in a relatively tight range here. Uh, still got the weekly pivot untouched below, which uh, always gives me in the back of the mind where we'll see a bigger move and a bigger correction down towards that, sitting quite nicely with a four hourly fifty there. I mean, we've just seen consolidation before. It was like a bull flag for a while. That bull flag's just becoming a bit extended. Yesterday afternoon, it did look like it wanted to try and push, and but it hasn't got the sort of legs to break above these prior highs here. Um, it's uh, come back down to the 60 minute here. You can see the daily pivots here, and it's 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 well on its way at the moment towards its uh, daily daily pivot. Uh, again, as with the euro, reaction to this daily pivot will probably tell us a bit more if it breaks through. If they break through, well, it suggests a bit more weakness through um, than what we're seeing so far. Okay, moving on to then the dollar yen. Dollar yen been shoving up. Um, it's uh, heading strongly towards its uh, monthly pivot that's above us there at the moment. It's uh, it's uh, daily 50 above us that may just slow things down if we run into that sort of zone but at the moment it looks pretty much uh, solid upside here haven't had a bit of a retrace for a little while so won't be too shocked if we see some sort of retrace coming through uh, and well we have got an untouched daily pivot below here at the moment uh, it's there is the possibilities of course the 6021s always get in the way once we've pushed pulled up as far as we have here if it hits that r1 first maybe those bets may be off and it, you know, i just expect it to continue pushing or consolidating and pushing steadily upwards aussie dollar aussie dollar news wasn't particularly great uh, through the asian session um on the inflation date numbers uh, suggesting that uh, wages uh, um, are being outstripped by inflation and uh, we've seen this sort of uh, sell-off uh, early on it's just a little bit clearer on the four hourly here so put in a little bear flag in the shorter time frame sold off looks like the monthly s1 could be once again um, a target to the downside there um, from a daily perspective we've, we've ticked off the sort of uh, key things I'm looking for it's already through it's uh, the uh, daily pivot down to the S1 range wise well we'll watch the other markets if the if the other markets are selling off perhaps we can see this just continually to run a little bit not far off of diverging on this hourly basis it may as I say still run down to that monthly S1 again and finally the Canadian dollar I just actually before I do that just have a quick look at what I was up to Okay, so it's still sitting around $49. It's consolidating around that area. Let's look at the bigger picture. 
And well, daily perspective still looks like it could push up. Almost a shooting star, not quite on that uh, daily bar yesterday. Uh, just consolidation we're seeing here on the four alleys. There's uh, there may be at some point a push to the upside. Of course, we've got quite a, quite a push out yesterday, sitting right on the daily pivot at the moment. Maybe if we see a break of the uh, 60 minute to, uh, 21. Uh, we, we could see a, a bit more upside and a push maybe back to uh, up towards the uh, yesterday's highs in the R1 area. Um, to downside, well, I'd want to be if to be trading the downside or would want to see oil pushing up to give some um, uh, some oomph behind the move there, and maybe uh, the other markets uh, strengthening as well, the euro, the pound, etc. So uh, would, I'd be watching for a. It, it not to just be doing it all on its own there. So uh, any, any downside then, uh, well, potential there, uh, short term towards that uh, uh, alley 50 maybe, uh, maybe the alley, uh, alley 50, uh, the um, alley 50 and the daily S1 potentially. But uh, it does look, I mean, there was a bit of sort of divergence running into yesterday's highs. It does look a bit sort of uh, tired in that move up there, but um, all the same. Um, I think the, 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 there's more likely for, to see more upside than downside at the moment. Okay, uh, news-wise out today, we've already had uh, the uh, Aussie data out. Again, uh, Dolly data was very low-key and it was already out. Uh, only real news we've got today is the uh, Canadian uh, retail sales coming out 1.30. At 3.30, we've got crude oil inventories. So um, we, we're sort of looking uh, to quite late in the day before we get any any news from that point of view, unless we get some political news in before, beforehand. That's it for me. Have a great day. Bye for now.